Action is driven by fear on both sides. There is fear, legitimate fear on one side and the other side, including anecdotes you've expressed, are false. Okay, it was heated yesterday, this exchange between council members Ellen Troxclair and council member Greg Kassar, both with different views about funding emergency funds for immigration legal services. Now, in the end, here's what happened. The council approved the $200,000 message. And so Mike Kanan with the Austin Monitor is here to break down, you know, really what happened yesterday because I thought it was interesting how we worded that. This was a message that was sent to the city of Austin. What exactly is this? I think it's well if if we want to call it a message, I think it's it's a it's a message sent to the immigration uh, the the immigrant community mm -hmm. that the the city of Austin is there to support them. This of course is is more in line with um with the sanctuary city discussion what you know Sanctuary City, of course, is a loaded term in and of itself. Sure. Um, and this is this is about for I think for Councilmember Kassar, whose whose item it was, it was it was about supporting that community uh, through what's been a, a very difficult few weeks. Um, and I think that that what you saw yesterday and, and, and what you saw in, in the emotion that was coming out of both Councilmember Croxclair and Councilmember Kassar uh, was that national debate filtering down to the local level, which is a, a rarity for us. It's a real. Um, oddity when when national things come so far down to, to council level. And so is that why we don't usually see an exchange like that? Because even to many council meetings <laughs> and it doesn't get quite as, as explosive when it comes to people who are really talking about how they're feeling. I think, th I think that's right. You know, one of the things that, that we like to think about is that, you know, national politics, the, the, the partisanship really breaks down at the local level. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are other issues, and, and, you know, it's not just about potholes, of course, but it's, it's about it's a, the, the substantive, it, it, substantive issues at the local level often um, don't fall along party lines, but what would be traditional national party lines. Mm -hmm. um, but I think in, in this case, obviously, this isn't just about a, a local debate. This is about a national debate um, that's been extraordinarily heated. And 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 um, and I think that that that's what we're going to, you know, to the extent that that this continues to happen, we're going to continue to see that at, on the dais, which is, um, again, it's it's very unusual. Okay, can I, do we have time to listen to some more sound from that meeting? If we can roll it. And I respect many of your opinions on many issues, but do not, and you will be called out in this chamber. Do not spread lies and misinformation that people that have committed particular crimes are not being punished and that people are in danger from those folks. They feel like their safety is being threatened when they see um, reports of undocumented in immigrants um, committing crimes against people in our community and not being held accountable. What does she think afterwards? Okay, so she puts her thoughts on the line here. She. Um, I don't want to say attack, but she gets called out mm -hmm. by some of the other council members, Kazar. What is she saying about that exchange? You know, I think that she feels, I, I think she takes it very personally. I think that, and, and this hasn't just happened on this issue for the record, and, uh, you know, I think that sometimes when um, when the council, as we know, Austin is a, is a fairly uh, democratic place, it's a sure. fairly liberal place, when, when, and she's on the conservative side of things, and when, when she... Um, when she loses, which which will happen, she will sometimes suggest that her colleagues uh, think less of her or mm -hmm. think less of the constituents that she represents, uh, whether they're stupid or, or, or along those lines. And I believe she's used that phrase. Um, and that they think she. That she's. I think that they think that she and and, and the 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 views that she represents are, are are not quite as worthy as the ones that that uh, that they, that the other side you know holds, mm -hmm. um, which of course is a really tough thing to untangle. If you're if if it's that personal to somebody, it's it's going to be. It's going to echo, as it did yesterday. Um, you know, we, we we didn't have the clip there, but you know, she was she was she really was in tears. I think uh, at one point after after Councilmember Kassar uh, delivered his uh, his message, which is you know important as voters. You want your council members to be passionate about issues yeah, and absolutely. to fight for what they believe in, because in the end, they're supposed to be fighting for who they stand for, which which is for for you. So thank yeah. you so much for being here and for uh, sorting that out for us. Always.